I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. I know it's not easy, um, so we appreciate it. Just want to talk to you for a few minutes. And um, I mean, first of all, I mean, it has been, as you know, almost a year. Mm -hmm. Just in general, how do you feel? I mean, I went through something very traumatic. Um, I'm trying to still deal with it the best that I can. Um, I still have good days, still have bad days. You never know what you're going to feel when you wake up or mm -hmm. maybe throughout the day, a bad moment, a good moment. Um, you can't quite plan for really how you're going to feel. Yeah. yeah. You had four surgeries, I think. At the Recently five. Recently five. Yeah. And I remember before you described the difficulty in doing just some routine tasks, mm -hmm. like opening a water bottle. Has that gotten any better for you, or um, how do you describe the routine? Uh, it's gotten a little bit better. Definitely not, you know, we'll not be able to do certain things the same way again. Um, and it's just very slow progression, very slow, you know, growth and getting function of the, all of the functions of the hand again, mm -hmm. um, which I will not get back the way it fully was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, um, when you say some days that, uh, you know, it's, you, you never know how you're going to feel, is that physically and mentally? More so mentally, um, since I was diagnosed with PTSD, that's really been hard. Um, I get a lot of triggers. You never know when they're gonna come in. Um, you can never expect them. You know, it's something that you can't expect. And um, anxiety and depression as well. You've had a lot of family support. Um, I know a lot of people reached out to you from all over, probably from all over the world. Yes. I mean, what is it like to know that um, First of all, to be the center of that kind of widespread publicity, and then to see the support. It's still shocking. Was shocking at first, was shocking months after, was shocking last month, it's still shocking. Just the, you know, the amount of kindness that people still have in them, mm -hmm. um, that really resonates with me. It helps me remember that you know, just because something terrible happened to me that should never happened, there's still kindness and good left in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, you know, I try not to think of everything as just gray, black, dark, straightforward. Um, but it's really, it's because of those people, you know, my friends, family, boyfriend, the strangers all around, it's because of them mm -hmm. that I'm able to keep my head high right. the best I can. Right. It changed you. How do you describe yeah. the change? I would say it's, it's just been hard and it just, it can stink sometimes. You know, my I was in my career that I went to college for, that I worked hard to get, mm -hmm. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I, a thought never crossed my mind that I was going to be shot by a six-year-old in my classroom. Yeah. And it's just, I feel like it's just been taken from me. It's been stripped of me. What was so rewarding about being a teacher? and being able to shape those young minds. That, mm -hmm. <laughs> your mm -hmm. words. Um, so I've always been inspired to be kind of what, somewhat a role model in mm -hmm. uh, students' lives, children's lives. Um, and I like the aspect that, although yes, like when you think of <coughs> education, you think of straight teaching, like what's five plus two, or what's two plus five? Mm -hmm. But so much is they're emotional, they're social, um, you know, teaching them, you know, how can we, when we're angry, what's a good choice that we can make? 
when we're angry, let's try to think. Let's try to figure out why we're angry, what happened, and how can we best show that in a kind way, but also letting our friend know, I didn't really like what you told me. And that really hurt my feelings, mm. rather than going about it, yeah, another way. Yeah, that but is, mm -hmm. yeah, that's just that's always inspired me. Um, just being able to know that I'm, I was able to, you know, be a part of their lives in that aspect as well. Mm. So important. So important. Will you teach again? Right now, no. I don't feel anywhere ready close to stepping inside of a classroom or even a school um, that's really due to the anxiety the PTSD the fear that you know comes along with thinking about that um, I am currently though working on a different career path um, but I keeping that private for now oh okay <laughs> okay all right mm -hmm. but yeah so I don't see myself teaching anytime soon. Mm -hmm. I know that, uh, you know, there's so many people out there that can talk about, you know, their third grade teacher or their first grade teacher or, you know, because teachers make such a big impression on students. Do you keep in contact with any of your students? I have, I have not yet. Uh, for me, it's still, it's still been really hard to think of the last time I was with them. And then I think about their last time that they were with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were a hero that day. The police chief called you a hero. A lot of people have said that. Um, I know you were recognized on the floor of the Senate and uh, another, I think the Uvalde Foundation uh, gave you an award for being a hero. Do you see yourself as that? When you think about the bravery that day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's it's hard for me to put myself like that. Um, yeah. Where do you see yourself in ten years? If you had to, you know, what's your hope? You're what twenty six now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very young. <laughs> yeah. If what's thirty? What does thirty six year old Abby Werner look like? Um, hopefully doing better, you know, physically, emotionally. I hope that I can, you know, start to find happiness again in a lot of things. But yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm more so, you know, it's hard to think about the far future. Just on my mind is getting through this lawsuit that we've just been stuck in. Yeah, yeah. And once that gets through, obviously that would be... I think a, that a would help off. so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you see yourself becoming an advocate in any way, like anti-violence? Or have you had... You probably even haven't had a chance to think about something like that. Is that something that you think about or... I have had some thoughts, but I'm going to keep that to myself for now. Okay. Okay. That might have something to do with the career. No. no? Okay. <laughs> Just while we're in active litigation run. How did you end up? You're from Williamsburg, right? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I was born in Charlottesville. Okay. Um, and then in fifth grade, I moved to West Point. Mm -hmm. And then a couple years ago, I uh, moved to Williamsburg. Okay. And so in becoming a teacher, uh, when you applied, you just, how did you end up in Newport News? You just put your applications out there or did you choose the city or, oh, okay. Yeah, I, you know, I applied to multiple school districts, but I liked that my dad was a firefighter and, you know, paramedic, EMT in Newport News. And so when uh, I was given an interview for the school, um, right off of Jefferson. His mm -hmm. station is off of Jefferson, further up Jefferson. Okay. But it just felt right. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. I told you yesterday I have a son in Newport News Schools. He's a senior. Um, 
he's a handful, but <laughs> so I'm very familiar with Newport News schools. Um, you know, I was, when I looked, I, um, I put your name in like Twitter and I just saw just all these tweets over and over and over and over from all these different publications and people. Do you watch? Have you watched the coverage? Are you able to do that or do you just stay away from it? For the most part, I stay away. It's been very hard to see my face, you know, not just locally, but a lot of places. And for people to, you know, write stories and, you know, share things about me, it's, it's a crazy feeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not used to, you know, I've never been the ones who really want to be in the center of attention. Um, that's where me and my sister differ. Mm -hmm. she, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she likes, she's much more, um, she's much more better uh -huh. with that kind of stuff. And I'm more so the quiet one. Okay, the quiet one. Um, what is it? What is it that you're able to do now that brings you joy? Is it a book? Is it a, what can you, is there anything now that you're able to find joy in? As cliche as this might sound, it's really just spending time with people and, you know, cherishing that time, whether it be grabbing lunch with someone for, you know, an hour or two and catching up or, you know, us family having our family members having dinner at my mom's house together, just the, the time spent with people mm -hmm. has meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you a couple of questions, and I know your attorneys are here, and I, and I know what the conditions are, <laughs> but I, I, I do want to ask whether or not, just in general, do you feel like the justice system is working? I do trust and believe in the court system. Mm -hmm. And when I when you when I mentioned the coverage that uh, there's been so much coverage on this on this case, did you watch by chance uh, ABC News Deja Taylor's interview? Did you see that interview? I I'm sorry I don't really want to speak anything about her or their family. Okay, I understand. I understand. Um, but you do have confidence in the court system. And there's a, you're waiting for relief. You're waiting for everything to kind of be over and you can think about other things. Yeah, yes. I understand that. Um, do you want to stay in this area? You Because your family's here. Mm -hmm. So you see yourself staying in this area? I think that would just be a case by case, you know, take it moment by moment, day by day. Um, right now, I do plan on staying here, but, you know, a year, two years, a couple years, ten years, who knows, maybe I won't want to be here anymore. I do, um, I am staying locally for now uh, for my new career path, mm -hmm. so that's kind of why I'm still here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who, in, did anybody inspire you for that new career path? Or is that something you just completely came up with? And just yeah, okay. just all right. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what this. <laughs> um, is there anything that you feel comfortable uh, saying about that day and how difficult it is to be coming up on one year? Uh, I will just share that the a, a big one of the big moments for me that is stays in my head, you know, more so than some other moments is uh, the look on the student's face when he pulled out the firearm. Is a haunting look. Do you still have nightmares? I know you mentioned that before. Haunting yes. Book. What does all of this say to you about where we are as a society, um, as a community? What, it, what does it say to you? Uh, 
unfortunate, terrible, traumatic things can happen. But that's why we have the court system to hold those responsible, accountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's so much. Um, and you wonder, you know, you really do have to ask yourself, where are we and where are we going? You know, I mentioned the, you know, incident at my son's school. Um, I think it was two Decembers ago at the basketball game. And he was on his way until I looked at his science homework and saw that he hadn't done it. And I said, no, you're not going. Good mom. And, <laughs> and I'm so glad he ended up coming back to me and saying, I'm so glad you looked at, at the student view, you know, because um, there's so much out there. Uh, would you want to have a family one day? or Eventually. Mm -hmm. Eventually. You Eventually. Got, you mm -hmm. have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah. Taking it by the moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you talked about friends and family, and, and do you have friends from the school that you keep in contact with? Yeah. Okay. Yes. We text basically every day. Okay. And they're still there, or? Uh, some are, and some are not. Mm-hmm. Okay. There, there was, do you have any, do you have a pet? Do you have? <laughs> I have... I have two cats. My okay. sister has one. My uh -huh. sister and I live together. Okay. So technically three cats, but one of them is hers. Okay. All right. I didn't. I was trying to think of any picture because I know we don't have any video. Can't get video of you doing anything. And I was trying to think: is that is there any picture that you might have that you wouldn't mind sharing? Of um, the cat. Well, I didn't know if it was <laughs> if it was you and you're, you're holding your cat, or if it was you <laughs> with some friends, or. I didn't. I'm not sure. I really haven't. Uh -huh. I really have been not really capturing, you know, moments like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure off the top of my head if I would have one. That's like been kind of recently. Okay. So I'd have to look. How were the holidays? They've always been hard since my dad passed away a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was double hard this holiday. But it was really nice to be able to have a holiday again. Yeah. So I think that was really important. Yeah, very important. Very important. Excellent.